East Asia is a very complex place. And the political and cultural ramifications of putting all those countries together are very, very complicated and difficult to fathom at times. Um, one of the things driving the idea of digital content as a, uh, in East Asia as a single sort of regional enterprise um, is youth culture. Um, young people are moving across these boundaries in ways that we're not used to seeing. So if the parents might have memories of World War II in the back of their heads, the 14-year-olds don't. Or they have much lesser of a, of a remembrance of, of that kind of a phenomenon of the Second World War. So Korean youth are really fascinated with Japanese youth culture. The Chinese young people are picking up on all sorts of Japanese and Korean material. Ta youth culture in Taiwan is, is in integrated with what's going on in China in a very, very tight sort of way, as it is with Hong Kong. Um, and what's really interesting about it is how the bleeding in of North America is relatively small. Um, so you're, you can see it from time to time, you know, the, the major North American singers and movie stars and whatever get picked up over there. But if you go and look at the top 10 songs, you'll see, you know, four of the ones in Japan will be from Korea. You know, three of the ones in Korea will be from Japan. Two of the ones in Taiwan will be from China. That, that youth culture is, I think, absolutely, absolutely critical. Um, I think there's also uh, the realization by governments that this is something they should encourage. So one of the things that's starting to happen, really only been about three or four years, is you're starting to see the Japanese governments, or Je sorry, the East Asian governments, cooperate on the holding of festivals and ceremonies and awards programs, right? Where they recognize that this is our natural market. So flip that around and you think, okay, you can sort of see why Korea, Japan, you can sort of see Korea, China, and Taiwan, China for sure. You can see those integrations. What's really interesting is the degree to which the Europe, East Asian countries are not seeing uh, North America or Europe as their core markets. That their focus is so strongly on comparable areas and not looking overseas. And that's the part the North Americans need to wake up to because these developments are going to take place without a lot of reference to North America or Europe.